right, this is an unexpected video, but you know, that's what I'm good at, unexpected videos. That's why you guys tune in, because you, you don't know what you're going to get from me. And look, look at this pretty face over here. Uh, I drug her out of the house. She kept complaining that I never take her anywhere. And now we're going to go see a World War I movie, uh, 1917. You already know about that. I'm sorry, it's a bit dark in here. I'm really trying to find the light that's in the driveway. There's not much of it. So we're going to go see that movie. I've heard nothing but great things. And I'm glad you can join us. All right, we've touched down here at the Grand, and uh, we're trying to smuggle water into the establishment because... She's like a camel. Um, only by the water carrying way. Nothing else resembling a camel. But yeah, here we are. Here we are. We're about to head inside. So, um, I hope y'all are having a good night, though. I hope y'all are having a good night. Summer, how's your night going? Oh, it's going great. It's going great. I'm excited to see this movie. This is some of the worst acting I've ever seen from her. <laughs> All right, we just got out of 1917. And, um... I'm not a huge war movie guy. I've never really been a huge war movie guy, but this one was more of a theatrical experience, I would say. It's not a movie I'm going to rewatch. I don't I mean, I'll probably rewatch it, but it's not going to be like over and over. It's not going to be like one of those movies. But just some of the way the way this movie was shot, which I know you guys have already heard all about this. It's just one continuous take. Uh, we know it's not really, but it's made to look like it. And this is a beautiful looking movie. It really looks like it's set in World War One. The trenches uh, look like trenches. Uh, yeah, like if I was, you know, if I was in a war, I'm pretty sure this is what it would have looked like back in 1917. Um, the mud, the rats, the dead bodies. It almost makes me not want to be in a war. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, yeah, overall, I liked it. I liked it. Like I said, not a huge war movie guy, but it was almost like a buddy film. Um, not the whole way. I don't want to give spoilers, but... Uh, well, yeah, you what, just gave uh, a spoiler, not, not the really. whole way. <laughs> All right, I'll cut that. Sorry, uh, I had to cut that because that was going to be a spoiler. Anyways, it's kind of like a buddy film. You got two soldiers going together to stop an attack. So it's kind of like a rescue mission, but not a rescue mission in a way. Uh, anyway, what are your thoughts? I freaking loved it. I oh am all about God. war movies. I absolutely loved it. Mm. I would totally watch it again. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. I think and then, you... like, they had, they had one part in there. It was a nice change of pace. You know what I'm talking about? Oh. Whenever he finally, yeah, got there. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think yeah. I know what we're talking was, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, some parts for me were a little slow, which I knew they would be. Um, not really, like, to where I wasn't interested. It was just, you know. Um, there's not really a lot of fight scenes. Not a lot of, um, I no, guess, it action. Was, it scenes, was but, suspenseful, like, the whole time. Yeah, though. but it was very tense, suspenseful. Yeah, it, was, it yeah, was really good. Yeah, you didn't know what was going to happen to these characters. Right. And that's good directing, good filmmaking. And, um... Yeah, I would advise you to see this in the theaters. I think it's going to be, you know, best seen in the theaters. Yeah. And it was a packed house, so my neck is, like, about to crack. I know. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah. Um, go watch this movie. Go catch a flick. See ya.